I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back. Let it swing right back. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video we are carrying on from the previous one where I sculpted this short set and we're going to do this cute kawaii kind of style pastel look. So I'm starting off and these are the products I'm going to be using. So the Madame Glam gel polishes, you can get 30% off with my coupon code which is Lorna30 and I'll have it linked for you down below. I'm also using a couple of the candy coat colours and then some of the glitters and pigments no, no pigments, the flakes and the glitters are from Glitter Planet. So this is fairy dust, it's absolutely stunning and so hard to capture on camera. But if you own this glitter, you know that it is life. And I'm also using the Aurora flakes, which again are one of my absolute favourites. I love anything that is holographic or iridescence or just glitter in general. Like it's literally my favourite colour ever. So I'm just applying the coloured gels onto some backing paper off my nail forms. I always like to use backing paper just because it can be easily thrown away and you're not having like gel polish or paint dry up on a palette, just becomes a pain in the butt. And I'm also using these art gel paints from Alexa, I'll have the link down below. I'm absolutely loving them, I did purchase them with my own money so this isn't sort of like sponsored video or anything like that, I've never done a sponsored video just saying um i actually did buy them with my own money and i'm absolutely loving the art gel paint so i can highly recommend them if you guys are looking for some and i did find that they were quite affordable i also got some of the brushes this is one that i'm using now one of the detailing brushes um so yeah i'll have those linked for you guys down below if you want to check them out of course i will be doing a full video in the future you might want to wait until then um but yeah i'm liking them so far so I'm starting off with the gel polishes and I'm going ahead and just creating this rainbow striped nail. Um, as you can see the nails are left rough. A lot of people will come and like they'll say to me that I've done some gel polish over the top of acrylic but it's just peeling off. And most of the time the problem is that, that a particular technician has filed and buffed the nails. So they'll buff the nail smooth. If you're going to do that and then apply a gel polish please do expect that that gel polish is going to peel straight off the nail because applying a gel polish to a smooth surface is not really going to work. It needs something to hold onto, something to grip onto. If it was applying to a natural nail and you only buffed it lightly with a buffer, that's fine because you're applying um, the primers and the dehydrators and all the extra things on there to allow that chemi uh, the chemical reaction to take place and for the gel polish to adhere to that natural nail but straight over acrylic that doesn't take place so obviously it needs something to be able to adhere to which is why you leave the surface with a nice scratchy kind of feel to it if you know what I'm saying you can see the kind of texture and um, finish that's left on the nails here they are not super smooth just a little tip there if any of you have been struggling with gel polish or gel colours over the top of acrylics. So as you see I've just finished off that stripe um, design and I'm coming in with some of the gel art polishes. And I'm doing some cute stars and little dots because I really didn't have a clue what I was doing if I'm honest. But it looked cute as hell and I absolutely loved it. So I'm doing the same on the pointer finger. So I'm coming in with the silver and the gold. I'm just drawing some stars and moons. So I'll just go ahead and do that. And also remember that when you're doing some gel polish art, although it's not necessarily with the gel polish art gels, because they are slightly thicker in consistency to um, always having to constantly cure between each little bit. With your gel polish, you definitely need to cure between each section. Otherwise, it's going to just run everywhere. Your design isn't going to be as crisp because they are a much runnier consistency, which is why it's always good to have some art gels because they are meant for painting with. Plus, you might find it much easier to create beautiful designs. So now I'm coming in and I'm just going to be writing the word bye, see ya, obviously I'm not writing see ya, I'm writing bye on this nail using the white art gel 
and a fine brush. I did have a smaller detailing brush, which I probably should have used that. But this year, my goal is to actually work on fonts and painting fonts as such. Do you know, like making them look super cute? Because this literally sucked. Like that nail looked pants. My font with gel is not great. At least you can read it though. Like that's a plus. But yeah, definitely going to practice that this year. Make sure I can get some nice um, artistic looking fonts that actually looks cute and not just like crappy handwriting because my writing is terrible generally. After I finish the lettering, I'm coming in with all of the colours of gel and just polka dotting them around with a dotting tool. And next it's onto this like crazy random design. I just literally... And placed all of the colours onto the nail and moved it around with the dotting tool. It was intentional leaving those gaps in there. I wanted it to look kind of artsy and quite cute and random and not quite thought out if you know what I'm saying. And once I've done that I'll come in with a detailing brush just around the cuticle area to make sure that it looks nice and so that it looks finished like you don't want a messy looking cuticle area. And then I'll cure it in the light and come in with the Aurora Flakes and also the Fairy Dust Glitter and just burnish that into the tacky layer. And then we are basically ready to apply the top coat. So how easy was that for a gel polish manicure? You don't have to do it all the, um, over the acrylics as well. You can do this on your natural nails and it would look absolutely so cute. So if you guys want more gel polish designs or even regular nail polish, since I do have like nearly 200 bottles, which I do not use anymore, please let me know because I'll be quite happy to do that for you guys because I understand that obviously even though you enjoy watching the nails you might want to recreate some of these designs and if you're not um, trained in acrylic or you're not quite you don't quite know how to use it or you're struggling with it it might be best if I can show you guys some simpler designs that you can like rock day to day if you know what I'm saying like I want everyone to have beautiful bomb nails okay so I'll kind of mix it up so it's time for the top coat, which is my favourite part. I absolutely love applying top coat, especially with that sheer pink acrylic in the background. It just makes, oh, honestly, it was literally divine. I'm not gonna lie, I fell in love. Oh, that acrylic. Can't wait till we launch our line. It's literally gonna be so bomb. You guys are gonna absolutely love it. I am so excited. Okay, so this is my finished look. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that top coat in the lamp and then apply some cuticle oil because my nails, fingers, cuticle area is dry AF. Um, moisturizer in, I also like to apply it under the nail as well just to moisturize that area. Rub it in and then this is the final result guys. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. I loved creating this for you guys as well and it's just a nice, short, cute video. Like I said, need my nails short for the competition this weekend. So yeah, well, yeah, this weekend, because this is going to be going up on Friday. So I'll be competing on Monday, traveling down to London on Sunday. So yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And please always remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye! See you later, alligator! Bow chicka wow! I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload. Let it swing right back, let it swing right back. back.